might as well. I'll come back to the shop. Ah. Oh, once I had a bit of swore stuff made for and I put it in it scratched that out of my ear. Um, but uh, that was not nice and painful. Number 73, carve it up and weld her up. Dot, dot, exclamation. Oh, what date are we on? Right, we're getting really close now. 8th of July, this is the month. How comes when you want some rain, it's nearly always sunny? How come okay, right, watcher. Now I've got to start by saying thank you. Thank you for some. You're right. It's all right. You're welcome. I do this in my spare time uh, to educate. Awesome suggestions that you sent. Some of you come up with some great ideas. For this recess. Where the hell did that come from? Whoa, 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 Heavy metal cup of tea with with, with poppies on. <laughs> okay, the steel yeah. finally right. At long last, found a reliable company, which means that now I can make that start making the sheet, the metal sheet that goes underneath. And all these things, like all sheet metal fabrication, it starts with cardboard templates. So now I'm going to get some cardboard and start making a mock up of what. Don't I'm gonna... say it. Let's wait. Do and it's easier. Scissors and snipping is far easier than angle grinders and one off cuts. It's weird that you never do that. At least with the cardboard, if it's not right, you can chuck it away and do it again. So it's measure twice, cut once. You... Do you know what I think is really strange that he's in here with his shed gassing away to the camera and his bikes are outside right there. It's almost I just imagine you can just see someone wheeling one off because they can hear him copping off and he just wheels one off because you, you know. People will see him around and go, that's that dickhead off YouTube. That's cool. Right, okay. Stop waffling, let's get stuck in. Wait for it. Are you looking for some card, though? <laughs> it's a shame they don't have card the right size. Right, we'll have to wait. If he tapes this together in any way because it's not big enough, then laugh. Oh. He is that stupid. Oh. Please tape them together. Please tape them together. Please tape them together. Oh, you fucking gem. <laughs> yes. So... If you didn't see it and you're like, what are you laughing at? If you didn't see it, I am sh I have confidence in my audience, but you never know. You might have just missed it. You might notice that um, he needs some cardboard because his sheet metal is relatively big. Look at that piece of cardboard. And he does what with it? Fuck off. <laughs> you can't write this shit. You can't. You can't. That's 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 a piece of cardboard. Weirdly enough, that's actually bigger. Two pieces that are bigger. Now, one piece might be a half and a half folded together. Fair enough. So you have one. You do have one piece, right? And even if you don't, even if it is two bits overlapping, that's you don't have to use your precious card, do you? And it don't flop like that. Look, you want something stiff. Oh, we're guessing. Right, you see, you see how it's, that's really floppy. Now, sometimes like, <laughs> that's useful to some girls. Uh, sometimes that's useful to have a card that can really follow a contour. But you're doing a flat panel. Uh, 
And then he, 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 he's, he's the only guy I know on YouTube who has a motorbike. Uh, uh, there might be others, but the only guy that I know on YouTube who has a motorbike who talks about the environment a lot. And I'm like, you what? <laughs> Come again. Recycling or just reusing. They call it, it's, it's not even upcycling. It's just literally reusing something. Instead of chucking that, screwing that up and putting that in the recycle bin, you can use it and then bin it instead of getting fresh stuff. God's sake. I ran out of masking tape, so using insult, insulting tape, which is fine. Use what you got. So basically, your bit of card is too big now. Right. All right. So it's a complete waste then. I'm so glad that's symmetrical. Fuck me. Thing is, why can't you just have it in two pieces and just have the two pieces of card? You don't have to tape them together. Why don't you just have it overlap or have it as one piece from that other bit? Now I know a load of guys. Right. Uh, maybe six. One, Chris, Craig, Mary, well. Seven. I know seven guys who would groan like fuck about this. They'd be like, oh, that's just in the way. Instead of it being a clean sheet. And they'd make this big elaborate fluted thing that blends in. And he's just like, nah, if I can cut it. <laughs> come on, come on. Uh, which which one are you following? Oh, uh, because they're all different shapes and sizes. Alright. Good. Do you know, you could have punched holes in it, right? Push those in it and um, bolt it on. Especially if you had thicker card, that would be easy. It's stiff enough to do it. Okay, well, that's it. Oh, that's getting bigger. Every time that's getting bigger. We can speed this shit up, to be quite honest. We'll do it one and a half, because I don't want to miss. There are probably bits that we don't want to miss. He's cut the music, I've noticed, as well. But we can speed this shit up a bit because watching a fully grown man cut outside of the lines badly is um see this is this is why I say oh I'll carry on. This is why you punch the holes, bolt it on and then draw around it. Because then they're your datum, right? They're your reference. Like you're doing this now, look at that beautiful edge. Look at it, and it's de definitely symmetrical. Please fold it in half. Oh, he is doing that, but you should have done that before you marked out and cut it. Yeah, you should have done that. Now, I bet he hasn't got the button heads ready. He'll be like, i got to order them in. You do realise this is steel that three of them would do per side. What are you doing? You're replacing, you're replacing the shock. Why don't you just take the shock out? He might have done actually. No, I think he's taking the, the bottom link off. I thought he prepped this. I thought he said he's going to prep this. Oh, I bet you turn. Excellent. Whoa, hang about. This is wrong. He's got a new voice. Well, a second hand, which, which is fine actually. The, the good old record ones and stuff are excellent. Uh, as long as they're not broken. Um, you're doing this wrong. You've got the pipe in the vice and the well, it's not clamped and it? it's just resting in it. Maybe that's why. But he's got the grinder in his hand with a slitting disc, which he doesn't believe in. <laughs> well done for following your line. <laughs> what the fuck? Right. So let's just let's let, let, between you and me. Right between us. Let's just talk about everything that's wrong with this. Right, so just holding it and turning it. When you turn, you're going to pull, right? You're going to do something to it. This is our experience, right? It's really hard to turn something and keep a pen mark on it because you, you were humans, yeah? These little ape hands, you know, for climbing trees and shit. So that's number one. Number two is 
he, he, he's talked about his Jubilee clip. This would be a good idea. This is a good one. Jubilee clip. <whistles> That'll get you a better one. Or paper trick that he shows you. There's a bit of paper there he could waste. A bit of cardboard. Anything. Just wrap it around it and cut it. Or do a line and actually follow the line. Number three is watch how fucking much this disc disappears. He said that this is tin shit. Like, there's nothing to it. Are you telling me... To cut this really thin wall stainless that you're going to use in basically an entire disc. If you missed it, you'll see it. We can see his line. Starts on his line and then deviates straight away. Straight away. Look, his disc is gone. Look at that. It was, it, was, it was all gone on the first one. If we go back, it goes from full disc... Full disc to practice. Pretty much a full disc. Did that just nip him? Sorry, I know I'm going back all the time. He did something with his hand. Let's slow this shit down, actually, because we, we've got it on fast speed. Let's have it on normal speed. Oh, no, he just took his hand. It's just because it was fast. So... Oh yeah, you can see the powder, the powdered smoke coming. That disc has fucking disappeared. Look at that, look at that. What have you, on the line, Dell? Do that again. Stay on your line, stay on your line, stay on your line. No matter how much you think it's deviating. You probably can't hear me. Look at that disc, gone. Gone, fucking disc gone. No matter how much it's deviating. Right, look at that, it's fucking creme brulee. No matter how much it's deviating... Do not deviate from your line. If you, you just trust your lines. This is why we do lines, right? Have I got a pen? Probably, do you know what? I'm always, I'm, I'm the fucking worst person. Do you know what? If you ever need one, I've got a finger on the end of it. <laughs> I've got that shit. I'm such a knob for pens. Always. I had one. Check the head. Tape measure. Oh, 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 fucking syringe for me shooting up. God's sake, drugs. Don't do bikes, drugs. Uh, don't do fucking bikes, kids. Do drugs, they're cheaper. Uh, probably less like a kill. Less chance of killing you these days. Um, but, you know, just to this day, we can use this. Just say that these are my lines. And then you just go, fuck it, and just cut across there. It's like, what are you doing? The whole point is, is we can sit here, this is the whole point, we can sit here and go, yeah, that's straight, that to that, yeah, and then that's, that's square, right, and then you can get your, oh, where, where is everything gone? You can, ah, there we go, you can get, just compare that to that. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And then you can you can take your sweet heart out. And then you get interrupted. Oh, I've set fire to the cat. All right, let me go and put the cat out. And then you come back and go, what the fuck was I doing? And you can have a little bit of a coffee and you can fuck around. Yeah, that's it. Get your hammer out. Give that a bit of a twat. And then do whatever you need to do, right? And then when it comes to, ooh, this is fast and spinny and shit's, ha shit's going down. Shit is going to happen, right? And then you do it for that 20 seconds, 10 seconds, where you're burning through an entire disc per cut. <laughs> when you're doing that kind of stuff, trust your lines. If, if your lines are trustworthy, which is aren't, but you get what I mean. He's in a double predicament because fucking his lines are all over the place and he has no patience and doesn't trust in his own stuff because they're all wonky anyway. But you can understand what I'm saying is you, you can sit there and mark out for ages. And instead, he's just like, fuck it, you're right. I ain't sped this up. This is the video speed. What the fuck are you doing now? Alright. Right, you've got a pencil on the end of a stick, okay. Right, that's not how you do that. That's not how you do that. Right, so how would you do this? Well, you wouldn't cut a tube that short for one. You just get the end of your tube. And what you do is you find out what this angle is. Now, there's a way you can find out what angles are. Let's just say we're doing it right now. 
Right, you go, all right, well, what ankle is that? And we haven't got access to all of this stuff. But you say, what angle is that? Oh, hang about, we just press the icon down there. Um, you know, we need to know an angle. Okay, then. Okay. Be, 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 be. You wait for things to load. There we go. Now what you do is you go like this. Oh, you, you don't, you get interrupted by that. You go, paste that. Expand the canvas, please. And then he, he would use a measurement device, right? But the fact of it is we don't have the thing. But we say, right, well, we'll get this, we'll get a line, and we draw that line down, just say, like, down the centre there, right? And then we, we, we have something. You can use a, You can use a photograph yourself. This is the crazy thing, right? You could literally use a photograph yourself. You know, you can photograph your own stuff. All right, and we get that line there, a nice and chunky line. And then you have something like, you get a set square, put it on something. So you can literally, even when you take a picture of it, you can get straight. So let's just say that this line between all these drawers is our set square line. All right, just say we're going to use that. We'll make our line thinner so we can see what's going on. Oh, <laughs> that's not how you do that. Oh, no, let's, let's just make our line thinner. But, you know, let's just say, just say that, I don't know, let's just say that this cupboard line thing there is our... You know what I mean? Is our straight edge because uh, it's in your photo? And then you put that there, and then it's easy, right? What you do is, oh no, actually, you line up the picture so that is vertical. And the way you do that is, is you get another line. Just say for this, you get another line, and you press Control, uh, Shift, sorry, and it makes these lines go, you know, forty-five degrees, ninety. That's twenty-two and a half by the look of it. And you put that there, and you go, oh look, well my picture's not right. So what you do is you go to your picture. You merge them two together because you've got your lines. You get your picture, you select all, and then you you turn it until you get what you want. Yeah, so you can do this on you know on your own computer. You can turn these lines until you get there. Now there is a thing called it's called oh is it called J image or JJ image or something? It just and it measures um, degrees and stuff like that. But now you've got this, what happens is, is you can't see, but in the bottom corner, there's a thing, you might be able to see it, there's a thing that tells you the length of the line and the angle. And as you sweep it through the angle, it tells you the angle. That's 135, that's 165, that's 180 compared to where you started the line. So what you do is you then go over your drawing, you plonk your line at the top like this, like that. And you draw your line. You press shift to hold it. And you go, right, that's 90, it says here. And if I go like this, that's 95. So any number above 90 is our, num you know, is our number. You can reset it to make it zero or whatever. But that's 100. And, that's 100. It says, oh, it says minus 143.333. Ignore the 333. Right? I just do that. I just come out as far as I can. So it says 143. So all you do is get your calculator, it's easy, 143 minus 90, 53 degrees. So you go, right, well this is 53 degrees. So then what you do is, I know this seems long-winded, but then what you can do is, is you get your mitre saw out, right, and you cut <laughs> this tube to your, your 53 degrees, and then you just plonk it on. And the reason why you do that is because you can flip the tube over later on and use it as your... your, your whoosh, so now you've got this at uh, 53 degrees, you butt it up against your cardboard, you draw around it. The prop, not this fucking rubbish, right? Which is a weird projection that's not going to be right. Then what you do is you draw around it and you go, right, I want this. The wall thickness is a mil thick or a mil and a half. I want it a mil and a half thinner. So you go a mil and a half in on your line. Cut it out your steel, right? Then when you butt it up to it, it's spot on and there's no gaps. Not like that is, you've now got your pipe, because you've got this degrees, you've now got a pipe that sits flush against there that has, a, a, a you know, it's 90 degrees. Or, if you want to do what he does, you turn it around and then you've got your, your oval with a straight inside tubing that you want for your French bullshit. It's amazing. What the fuck is that? It's not even in the middle. <laughs> right, sorry, we're going to have to do this again. 
So, we, we've got half of his picture there. We've got datums here. Two screws. Fuck's sake. We've got two screws. We don't have to worry about the rest. We don't have to really worry about parallax. That's his fault for not getting it right. Right? So, all we do, you just... All right. So, again, you don't just wade in and start drawing lines. Right? You draw. That's pretty level, actually. So I'm holding shift so it does the 45 degree thing. Because if you don't, it just does this. Or it allows you to do any degree you want. So that's like that. That there are pretty level. Right? I think that's by accident because the rest of it doesn't look like that. There with the washers. We just touch on the tangential. Yeah, that, that's actually seriously level. Well done, Del. So all we're looking for is when, we go, when we're going to flip this, Right, so the middle of his hole is about there. Right, we're just looking at this hole here. When we're going to flip this, what we're looking for is that... Because we don't know where the middle is. Actually, no, we do. Sorry, right. That, that, that we can do this. Let me just get rid of that line. We can do this because what we can do is right from the edge... Well, I'll zoom in a bit, Master of Zoom. Right from the edge of here, this bolt, to there. Right, on here, that's saying that is... Uh, it's basically saying that it's 9.8. It's 9.8. So, I, I love using calculators because on screen, so people see what I'm doing. So you take your 9 point, it actually said 7.9, right? And you divide that by 2. You get halfway. So we're looking for 4.89. So what we can do in a different colour, uh, 4, what is it? 4, and that's why I like it, because if I forget, I can do that. 4.89. Right. Oh, we want a blue. Sorry, we want a blue. Uh, we want blue, thank you. Right, so exactly the same point there. That's it. 4.89 there. So that is middle. That is middle, and then right on the end of it, well, I tell you what, I can just draw a line. This is the other thing. You can draw a line and just bring it up to it. So there. There is middle. What well, you see, this is the thing. Even with stuff like this, we can do it, which, if you look at that circle, yeah, yeah. Not the tape, because the tape is just telling you all sorts of shit. This is a really weird shape, though. <laughs> but any road, right? Now we've done that, what we can do is we can grab the whole of this right on that middle line. And you can use one pixel if you want for your line thickness. We're just going to make it so you can see it as well, which you probably can't see it now. Oh, come on. Right, I'm going to get funny here. I want to just put it right there. That's about the middle. It's skipping. Right, so what we do is we copy that, and then we paste that, and then we flip it. Like that, and then we bring that, and we can bring that. This is the thing. We know that this edge, this edge goes up to our line. So all we need to do is line up all that. There, like that. So when we make it transparent, we should see our bolt is pretty much there. It's moving a bit. Let me just, well, we'll give them the benefit of the doubt, because they were, no, no, they weren't in the middle, that was, a, oh, no, they are about, yeah, there we go, we'll leave it there, there's a bit of a gap there, we'll go middle and middle, there we go. So, now we've got this, we can see, our bolt doesn't move that much, it actually just looks like it grows in size a bit, maybe the camera's a bit like this or whatever, but the fact of the matter is, is if we just go, okay zoom out like so we can look at our shape difference so you can see that our shape you can see here that our shape is it's off right it's off uh this is a lot more bulbous you can't really see the shape of it so you can see this bulges out at the top so you know that's all over the place and that's the tank so because the tank is pretty symmetrical it'll be the fact that the tank's twisted a bit but we don't know how perfect we are in parallax and stuff so we don't need to worry about that um our circle 
well, it goes fat down here. I hope you cut to that circle because look at it. You see how much it morphs, how much it changes. And you can even see our, the shock end here. We don't change that much, so we're not that much off. You can see, and that's from a that's from a very bit. That's a that's a big change in distance. You know what I mean? So it's it's okay. It's okay. I just hope you don't cut this circle. Well, I do for entertainment value. Um, but we can see how. I and mean, you got to remember, we're still at template stage. If he folded this in half, he would see these things. And we're doing this from a camera that's been held by a guy that isn't level and square with everything. So you have to. Everything's a pinch of salt. It could get better. I expect it to get worse. Oh, that lovely edge. Mwah, mwah. Perfection. Perfection. Please see, you're just going to cut that shape out. Please. It'd be too big. The reason why it's too big is because if I present you a hole <laughs> and do this, when you do this, you can see I can actually trace out. Let's see if I can get it right. I can actually almost trace out a hole so much bigger than the actual thing you're projecting through. If you do this, you can still make... It's incredible, and that's only stuck out by 15 mil. That thing wasn't. That thing was stuck out loads. So you can actually... And the thing is, the bigger the hole gets, the worse it gets, because you've got a bigger... You've got more room to deflect. This is what? Is that two and a half mil, something like that? Two and a half mil, 25 mil? I don't know, something like that. That's how big that is. So the bigger the circle, the more deflection you can get. And he's on a wobbly, he's on a stick on a wobbly pencil, so it might actually bend in it some, because it's on a wobbly fucking stick. Please fold it in half. Please fold it in half. If you had any sense, you'd fold it in half. That's not how you do arcs, Del. Oh, you didn't even follow it. You see, did you? You probably you might not be able to see this on your if you're on your phone. He does the dots, and then he just completely. Let's see if I can get that up for you. He just he does the dots and then just complete. I, I need to keep this fucking program open. <laughs> it's gonna be one of them episodes. You might not be able to see it on his phone, but they're the dots. Let's see if I can sharpen them up a bit. Um, there you go. So you can see the dots, right, which would be, you know, this bit. So from there to there, he's done the dots like that. And then he literally just draws a circle that isn't that. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, I did it again. Open it again, because we will need it again. It's one of them episodes. Just open it and leave it there, that's it. It'll be one of these episodes where we're comparing fucking everything. But you might not be, like I say, you might not be able to see it on your phone or something, but you literally just, it, there's 10 mil in there, in the middle. He's doing it again, look. <laughs> I have to, I have to, I'm sorry. It's just, what the fuck are you doing? Like, it's, this is like play school stuff. Right, what the fuck is that? He literally did two lines because one wasn't right. Um, now you can. I'm just sharpening it for guys who, like I say, on the phones, see that that whatever the fuck that is. <laughs> now you can get. Um, oh, what they call it? It's like cut. So the like silicon with a bit of aluminium or something in it, and you can bend it. And the arc rulers. I think that's what they're called. Yes, I don't mind what we call that rulers, but that came back. So this thing here, uh, why are you taking me to it? This thing, right? So it is an al. Oh my god, what the hell's going on there? It's an aluminium strip. I'm sure it's aluminium, or something, something that's pliable. And what you do is you make curves with it, right? And it's got a ruler on, which is the best thing about it. You can make curves. And still have marks across the curve. So that'd be great for his tank. So you, you make it form to the shape of a tank. So it can do some kind of crazy S-bend. And mark, 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 mark. Every five centimetres kind of thing. Or whatever you want. Um, 
what did they actually call that? Flexible vi it's vi yeah, it's vinyl, but it's uh, I wonder what's in it. Um, because these are you get these curves, these bore curves and stuff. These things uh, for sewing, yeah, the people for sewing as well. Um, flexible rulers. No, I'm not like that. They're literally these. They're literally these. They're absolutely great. They really are. I've got one. I just don't know what it is. So in here, like I say, it's it's like a silicon outer with or a vinyl outer with something in the middle, but there is a it's a bit of metal inside. Yeah, fuck me. They're only they're for like I didn't know they were for it does it says there that they're for um seamstressing stuff. Um Yeah, there's there's some metal in there. It could be no, it's gotta be a metal, surely. It's gotta be something it's like a copper wire. You can literally do the thing with sit with thick um thick gear, you know, copper wire, do the same thing. But that's already got a ruler on it. And it's square so it seems to sit flat. Now see that's very important, is this what he's cut out. It's very important is that. There's things you can draw around, like a paint tin. Or a, a, a tin of, you got a tin of empty filler. <laughs> you got fucking loads. Your clock. I'll shit you not. I would take a clock off a wall just to draw around it. If it was the right size. I'd take anything. I'd fucking take anything and cut around it. Okay, let's get it off and put if it on. If your swing arm is that, is take your shock off, obviously. If your swing arm is that far out, fuck me, you've done something wrong. Steal and mark it out and be scared. Be scared? Why would you be scared? Whoa, 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 did uh, he's lost his music completely, hasn't he? This is going to be golden because, right? What you measuring there? You're just drawing a straight line. All right, just, there we go. That's that curve done. There's that curve done. No more. Don't really care. Why did he draw a line? What? What did he draw a line for? Oh, I'll give him five points. Put the holes in while it's flat, but yeah, you can do this now. You have to put the living shit out of it, though. Okay, now he's drilling his holes while it's flat. Holy shit. Oh, don't put it on there. Looks like it's a wood one. Oh, he's going fast. He did know at one point. He just guesses. He just guesses. That's it. That's all you need. Do it by hand, really. No, I don't want you doing this for you, dickhead. The tool does it for you. What are you doing? No, oh, no. Oh, I thought he'd get his axe on out or some other stupid thing he did. Is that a slitting disc, though? It's so much fucking easier with a slitting disc, isn't it? Right, he obviously doesn't know how to walk a grinder. Uh, do I have a grinder around? Do I have a grinder around? Oh, yes! Right, yes. Come on. Where did it get? Oh, bloody hell, fire. Everyone just thought fucking it was Fukushima all over again. <laughs> no, the kids! <laughs> I shouldn't laugh, it was absolutely fucking horrible. Oh, the ja anyone in the world doesn't deserve anything, it's the Japanese. Um, they've had too much going on. Right, so, grinder, right? It hasn't got a fucking slitting disc on it. Ugh, not a fitting one, I can't bother. So, what what you can do, it's so hard to demonstrate this close-up. I'll, I'll, I'll be doing a video. Someone has sent me a tank, I shit you not, it's in a box. It actually says, instead of saying Matt Hudson on it, it says Mr. Angry Hudson. <laughs> 
<laughs> which I thought was funny. Any road. So you got something like this. If you try and cut, right, if you try and cut along a line, zip, 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 right. But if you try and do a curve, right, the problem is, is that, well, you can do this. You can actually do that. Because it's only a, a, a small point contact there. But if you lay your grinder on its side, you can actually, watch, I'm, I'm touching it just there. You can actually pivot. And look, I can actually cause the wheel to rotate with that pivot. You can actually pivot on the nose. See what I'm doing there? I'm pivoting on the nose. It's incredible. And you can get some really good tight curves. I've even thought, always thought, never actually got around to doing it. On this grinder, there is an uh, attachment point there, and there's one there. On the Ryobi stuff, and it is the one thing I do like, is some of them have an attachment point there. And I really do like that, because nothing to do with actually a handle placement. But I always thought, wouldn't it be cool to, maybe somewhere up here or here, to put a little pad, so a little ball socket thing that you could actually rest the grinder on and do that with for cutting on circles. You know, I always just thought maybe that'd be cool, but whatever. Yeah, you could only do, you know, one or two radii and stuff like that. But you can do it instead of doing this like he has done. You can see it. Chop, 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 chop. Experience. Or lack of. You can easily cut that out round. You can easily cut that out round with a grinder. I could cut that out so you don't really have to touch it much. That. Whoa, 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 that was a slitting disc. His grinder keeps on cutting out, and I think he's either hitting the button. See, he almost did it then. Where he's using his finger, and he's using it to curve. This might be one of the tidiest things Dell's done, though. But I don't know why I didn't panel beat a dent into it. He hasn't got an English Chinese wheel, so I'm fair enough. It's one of, it's one of the nicer things that Dell's ever done. It won't be straight, it won't be square, it'll be all over, it's burnt it, my god how you burn it. Yeah. He's got some excess meat on there as well which is good. Look at the state of this thing, you can just fucking see it look, oh Jesus. Oh, whoa, 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 oh, you can't fucking do that to me. We'll get to that side in a minute. Go back, you bastard. Right, so. What? On God's green earth is this wobbly shit? And then what is this wobbly shit? Wow, look at the... Oh, Perfect. He did they cut this thing out to, for the filler. Look at it. It's just like a little weapon. <laughs> this bit down here. Catch your nutsack in. So what we've done is we've got a sheet and we've cut out something to make it fit. So it's two dimensional. Dude, your fucking tyre never goes that high. Uh, it's nice and neatly executed. Uh, if I do say myself. That weren't any issues at all. That's as high as that wheel goes. Doesn't go any higher. That's without the shock on. The shock is there, but I reckon he's undone the bottom link. Oh, there we go. Because can lift it by hand and the bike doesn't go anywhere. Five and a half hours, came in at 9.30, it's three o'clock now. Five and a half hour session on just sheet metal fabrication. Absolutely my favorite pastime above everything else in the garage. That is awesome. It's a millimeter and a half thick, so it's nice and beef, but it's not too... 
Take off half a millimetre, take off 33% and it becomes weak, wimpy shit. All the Harley Davidson tanks are now made like that. But that, literally, that extra point, half a millimetre, beef! Too heavy. Um, I'm not sure what it weighs yet, but there's no point in weighing any of this until I get near the end of the project. But I know that this so far weighs about four and a half kilos. No, that was before you put filler on it. Just under five kilos for that. I don't think that's a kilo in its own, not at the moment. It doesn't matter. Point is, I've got to get another little bit for a leaf there. I'm thinking, like I said, of getting some sort of trailer mud guard or a Harley Davidson fender, something that's got another, another petrol tank, a pre-made curve, nice round pre-made curve that I can just yeah, roll you can, on the. No, no problem doing that. If you if you can't, if you're not a panel beater and you don't know what the fuck you're doing, it's a good option. Inside of that trim and cut and fabricate to shape so it fits up in there and then grind the lip, weld it round, grind the lip back so it looks like it's all one piece which is absolutely fabulous. This is a triumph, I absolutely love this, um, it's my favourite. That I've left this hole just a little bit small, I've got to dress it back a bit to get this in but it's better to have... It looks like you can get it in on the sides so that's too big already. ...to file back than a gap to fill. I think that's what I'm saying. That's going in there. I can see it. Just a little bit of this needs dressing out and enough today, that's enough. Um, I'm going to use obviously a longer section of that, I've got plenty of it. That will go down, I reckon, probably about, I'm going to try and get it down about a foot inside. There's over a foot. What? What the fuck for? This is a biking or not a truck. <laughs> Fucking foot. Of death that's two penises. It'd be nice if we could go right down inside. Fuck yeah. I've seen the light that I want. Uh, it's like a LED high high intensity afterburner. <laughs> what? Sorry. An LED, a light emitting diode, arc burner. I think you've been drinking that fucking bloody Evans again. Kind of circular thing, looks like multiple rings and it's really, really bright. And I'm trying to think if I could perhaps line the inside of this with a, a reflective surface. I don't know, you could line it with stainless steel. <laughs> oh, shit. You could polish it to a mirror finish. I'll even get it out and get electro-polished. I shit you not. Send them a bit of tubing. Can you in, can you electro-polish the inside of that? What is it? Stainless steel, like 304 or something, shit. Yeah, 20 quid. Or paint it with something extremely reflective. Oh, fucking paint. And get enough red light to pass in with that. Like chrome plated. Do something that's not shite. No, but the idea is to bury that light as far down there as I can get away with. Certainly from here, don't want to be seeing it at all. I want, Why? I want it a, a foot away. I want it fucking. I want it in somebody. I want it so far it's in somebody else's bike. <laughs> flush, that's cool. I want it as far get... as I'm in the closet. <laughs> There are going to be no indicators on this tail whatsoever. A completely different idea for that. That's another day. But with That's this, probably I'm also illegal. Left it proud all the way around. Probably about half an inch proud. You know, again, it's better to have metal to file back than a gap to fill. So, and what I'll do with that, I'm, at this point, I just needed to make the basic shape. Right, there's this whole big argument about having these indicators on your, on, on your, um, on your handlebars. But I think the problem with that is the rider is here in the middle. Just say the middle. And I think you need indicators front and rear. And I think as far as the law is concerned, that for every set of lights, so you have a rear light, you have indicators. You have a front light, you have indicators. Now, I know people are going to say daytime running. But the fact is this bike was sold, was licensed, was registered with front and rear indicators. So I don't know how far that goes. Like, you know, the 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 bike was registered to be sold in you know, it was sold in this country and then registered in this country. And to do that it has to pass, you know. It has to have Department of Transport compliant brake fluid and brake pads and brake lines. It has to have all of this shit. Now that's just a cell, but it's also the MOT. And I know they say stuff like, well, if you can see it from the back. But the fact is, with your hands and potential elbows, especially as you move around, because you can indicate while cornering. You know, you, you 
corner and as you come out the corner there's your turning stuff like that i can't see if they get fickle about reflectors to a degree if they get fickle about reflectors and lights that shine on number plates that having indicators right at the where the handlebars are not where people expect to see them it's like i don't think people will notice half the time that you've got these little shitty lights stuck out there in your indicators your rear lights here they'll expect it next to your rear light done that but this i could uh, bend it up i could lip all that up all the way around up 90 degrees then fire or or, or grind this back so that it fits up inside i want to see that possibly uh, but thinking of the the and mud and rubbish will flick up against this so ultimately to have a joint there that water and grip from the get inside. So I don't know, maybe a rubber joint around there, I'm not sure. Um, all to be decided later on, but at the moment, that's the basic shape. Absolutely chuffed with it, it's come out there straight. The one thing with any fabrication, especially sheet metal fab, is that everything is straight, angular, correct, everything is square and true and sits correctly. Once you've done that, the rest you can faff about with later on. If it's sitting cockeyed, when you first put it on, then you've got to start over again. You've got to remember, he's attached this. His only data here is not the tail. He's attached this to his subframe. So all of the holes that he put in it, all of these uh, nut certs, are where the subframe is. But the problem is, is he's bent the subframe. And by the look of it, one has come in more than the other. And it's probably twisted, but you look at them turrets that stick out the top, the whole thing's twisted. And when things twist, they pull in. How much is pulled in and how twisted it is? But if if all these mounting points were off the original um, subframe that he hadn't molested, then fine, I, I could believe that that's straight and square, but I don't. <laughs> Oh, there we go, right. Oh, Jesus Christ. Something that's going to take 10 minutes takes an hour and a half. Typical. Any road. Right, we're back. Oh, we're literally at the end. Oh, God, I'm just going to finish this shit off. Right, let's go for it. When you first put it on, then you've got to start all over again. And I'm so happy that I haven't had to do that. This is just first time fit. Absolutely love that. It's quite a rare first time fit. Just bolted it straight up. Um, and the screws, again, these screws, I, I have... All manner of different options for those. I've got nice round button caps. Uh, Why don't you put them in? Mm, mm. I remember saying this like a couple of hours ago. Of either he'll say he doesn't have any or something. Some of the bollocks. Um, I could put Zeus fasteners in. <laughs> Do you know what? Zeus fasteners. They're an aviation thing, but I do know that they're used used in coaches a lot. The Zeus, the spelt with as as there we go. You see, the spelt with a a a a da 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 da. So these things, these things here, and I do know that the because they're using coaches, it's basically like a cam lock. Basically, that's what it is. Uh, there we go. You can see them in motorsports, just flush fasteners that they use for like um, you know. When you do like like the world's fastest Indian guy, uh, Bert Munro, when you put the cowling over that basically locks him in, they'd put him in that kind of shite. Um, you see him on like bonnets a lot for like rally stuff. Uh, an aircraft. Oh, look, there, aircraft. Oh, look, there's the wiki page. I didn't think there'd be a wiki page on it. Here we go, you see, look, so on the cowling, it's just sort of flush, these buggers here. You might recognise when you see them like in situ with like the brass around. It's a turn lock faster, quick action panel fastener. It's a type of proprietary quarter turn spiral cam lock tensioner uh, fastener, often used for securing pan skin panels on aircraft and high performance vehicles. Invented by William Zeus. De Zeus. Zeus. Uh, oh, he's Ukrainian. Uh, that's where the name comes from. Check that shit out. Look, he's, he's, look, that's a pattern. And I think 1934. So he's just got a spiral lock. He's just got a spiral in there and it locks on this bar. And they do different things nowadays. Uh, uses secure doors, panels, blah, blah, blah. I know 
that they can lock airlock and other ones. Um, just different ver varieties. I do know that they are used uh, in buses and coaches uh, for f in the floor. So if you've got the floor panel and you want a like an access hatch or something, they use them in them because they're flush, they're flat. You know, literally this is it. They're just the fl but they're easy to you know you just stick a washer in or you might have a screwdriver, or a little key that's big enough to undo. Uh, I wonder if there actually is a picture of a of a um, uh, of a bus. It'd be well funny if I found one on a bus. Uh, there's even a video. Someone's done a video. Can you fucking believe it? Someone's done a video on YouTube. People do. People will do fucking <laughs> videos about anything, including me. Uh, no matter how weird and mental. Because, you know, people might not know about them. I wonder if we put... Um, put on a coach. I was going to say, I wasn't so... Oh, look, someone's put a... Oh, my God, are you making a Deltail? Looks like it might actually fit, though. It looks like it's got it's got a far better finish. Um, but I wonder if... No? Oh. See there, look, you see, they're a bit silly in this kind of respect. The quick release, you see, because what you've got there is you've got almost like a key ring through it, so that's what you can... They go flush, and then you can tip them up and turn them. But um, they have the same kind of ones on buses, where it's a flat D ring. You can flip up and turn. Do you even get them, actually, in vans? You get them in some of the floors of vans, where you want a flush fastener, but it is a fastener that can be undone. I thought I might show you one on a coach, you know, like on a floor. Yeah, that's probably how Dell knows, but that is something that Dell knows. Uh, they're pretty cool, kind of GP styly. I don't know. Many, many options. I could possibly even do something with uh, an invisible fastener. I've seen these little screws. They they screw in completely flush with a little tiny crosshead, and you just pop a little cap in them. You don't see them at all. So there's lots. Oh, it kind of sinks. And lots of options. But here we are. Five and a half hour session on the fabrication. Absolutely chuck a bit. Oh yeah, counter sinks in one mil steel. Now I've got to get on eBay and start sourcing, see if I can find myself some sort of mud guard. To Another go tank. There, until I get that, I can't carry on from where I am. So there we are. Thanks for watching. Well, it's not, there isn't much forward thinking then, is this? Is there? For fuck's sake. I've literally got back some time, so I'm going to do another one after this, so that's why I'm getting comfortable. I've just got myself a new coffee, all that shite. It takes it right safe. See you at the weekend for more fun and games. But I do know that this is the end of an episode because it was like 45 minutes long before I stopped it. I hope that makes sense, and I'll see you in a bit.